What's going on? It's me back again. I know people are gonna see me drink malt liquor, but they don't seem to care that much about it. And also with that, I give a chocolate and I have chips. It's been a while since I've been making any malt liquor videos and just wanna show off a little bit in here. I've been seeing my girlfriend lately over the weekend. She was coming to visit me in California. I bought myself new shoes. You can see here. See? It's two hundred dollar shoes. It's a new costume too, it's like a hoodie and a pair of pants. So I'm celebrating new clothes with some malt liquor. It's been a while since I've been drinking malt liquor like that. Just drinking malt liquor, not talking too much. Shout out to all my 2600 subscribers. Even though these days nobody talks on my channel and everything is kind of depressing, not like it used to be before. And people just, you know, enjoy themselves and do their own thing. It's a better angle right there. I kind of feel I can sit down. I'm being lame again, but I don't care. I don't want to give a damn anymore. My head is not on the camera. I forgot to take my stuff. I forgot to take my fucking... I forgot to take my fucking I forgot to take my fucking video equipment which I don't have much but you know what I'm talking about I forgot to take my my tripod But you don't even have to see me. Enjoy the view and enjoy the malt liquor. Right now being, being comfortable is more important for me than to be on camera anyway. <clears throat> I just want to be weird like that because I don't do a damn. Big fuck you to YouTube.
I've been having this conversation with these stupid ass people. Muhammad to Kareem or Abdullah. We've been talking about that Muhammad to Kareem has a channel for grown people. And my channel is like marking like a child, whatever. I used to have the time arguing with him and going crazy. Make me act like a child. My response. You can say that be showing fingers is also actually like a child, but I don't care. I have no regard for your opinion, I'm sorry. You can eat a dick and die. Stop wasting your time. That's why I don't want to do live streams anymore. Because I don't want to hear that type of bullshit. And if I'm going to see comments like this, about drinking and driving, acting like a child, whatever. Gonna get deleted. Thank goodness I still have a power to delete the comments I don't like. Let me see if I can sit there. Oh yeah, feel comfortable. You can actually see my face. And you can see the better view too. It's kind of nice view on Golden Gate Bridge and the house is behind. People see me drinking malt liquor, they're Americans, they don't care. Mm. Maybe I put the camera smidge down, see if that's gonna be even better. Like this. Nah. I mean, it would be, but. No, it's not really better, but it's all good. I don't worry too much about it. Mouth liquor. My face is dark, but mouth liquor is dark too. But the scenery is beautiful, so enjoy the scenery. I started learning Spanish a little bit. Somebody's messing with me. I downloaded the app called Duolingo. And then I found out that I already have an account over there. And I don't think I created the account, but there was a lot of weird things going on. Like, for example, I remember years ago I deactivated Facebook. And all of a sudden, without my consent, my Facebook was activated. I just let it go, but I didn't really like it. Because I actually activated my Facebook for a reason. Right now, I go to Messenger, but I don't really like to be on Facebook. I don't talk to people over there anyway.
the craziest rabbi told me today that he wants me to send me to Israel. For six months to study over there. Because I told him if I'm gonna go to New York, I'm very connected my friend Lydia. And because she's not Jewish, he didn't like it, obviously. He said, go to Israel, it's going to be beautiful over there. I don't want to go anywhere right now. You know, it's funny that my girlfriend's mom saw a dream that she was living in Israel. And that's actually a real possibility too. Because I can easily go to Israel and live there. And I can take you with me. I can actually do that if I really want to. But... I don't feel like going there. And I don't want to go to New York either. But he doesn't want me to go to New York anymore because I told him about my friend. Which was maybe not the smartest move, but I don't care because I really don't want to do it. I just told him that. So he will leave me alone. But I mean, if I were to go to New York, I would actually try to reconnect with her so I can live with her, but I don't really want to do it. I'm not sure if I want to do it. Even though I'm thinking about it, I'm not sure. He doesn't like that idea. I could have kept it to myself if I really wanted to, but I just don't care. He just wants me to go to Yeshiva so he can brainwash me. I mean, it's a good thing, you know, like you learn Hebrew and all of that, that's nice, but... Who said that if I'm gonna learn the Jewish morality or whatever, I'm gonna follow it. If I don't agree with it, I'm just gonna like learn it, I'm gonna know about it, I'm gonna say, yeah, I get it, but... I'm not gonna follow it anyway, so fuck you. I went to Yeshiva, there was cameras everywhere, people walked in weird. And I'm like, fuck this shit. I like things to be real. And then I had a good job over there and I liked the people the job. But there was some bullshit, I didn't like the way they treat me. But I like the people though. They were cool. Just like I like the people the fucking job I used to have like the loss on Saturday assignment. I'm about to get on another one but still made good money though. And I I learned a little bit of Spanish too but the bullshit happened again. And I really liked over there too. Working with a bunch of Mexicans, learning Spanish, and they noticed there was one woman. She was talking to me in Spanish, but I couldn't understand most of what she was saying. They noticed that I really want to learn Spanish. So, 
So with Duolingo, it makes it a lot of fun too. Like a lot of times, like before, I used to like play Clash of Clans, words with friends, you know. Now I go on Duolingo and I learn Spanish by myself. It's fun because. I learned the words. There's this thing like, you know, this translation and stuff. It's, it's, it's fun, you know, learning stuff with Duolingo. It's way more fun than learning language in the fucking classroom with people. I tell you that much. I actually enjoy learning Spanish. You know, I really like it. Even though sometimes I feel like, why the fuck do I need it? But because I'm socially handicapped individual and if I'm gonna start speaking Spanish people are gonna know that anyway but I don't know I know I'm being negative right now but I have no reason to be positive because what's there to be positive about should I be positive about dealing with people who are telling me you shouldn't live like this, you shouldn't act like this, you need to calm down, you shouldn't be yourself, you should just kiss up to other people. You know? Life is overrated 96. You are so fucking right. How can you enjoy life if once you're gonna start doing what you want, everybody is gonna be telling you you shouldn't be like that, you shouldn't act like that. You know, that's exactly my point. There is somebody on the internet who actually feels the same way as I do. Even though we may not agree on certain things, like he's more liberal than me. He likes faggots and all of that jazz. Well, he didn't experience, he didn't deal with them. That's probably why he likes them, but I dealt with them. So that's why I'm so conservative. That's why I don't like multiculturalism, because You know, I, I dealt with it, I've seen it, you know. I know that the gay people, for example, if they're gonna deal with a straight person, they're gonna sway him to go to like say, hey, let's go to the gay club, I'm gonna give you some weed for free, but then they're gonna put the hand on your crutch, and then if I'm gonna walk out, they're gonna say, oh, I was joking. No, you were not. You were trying to fuck me in the ass, I know that you're hitting on me, because you want me to be gay as well you know and if i'm gonna say no you're just gonna like stop talking to me why because you're gonna see that i don't want to be like you so that's why i'm saying you know it's like you say in english even birds of the same feather flock together right so what we say in russian скажи мне кто твой друг и я скажу кто ты i will translate Tell me who is your friend and I'll tell you who you are. So, same thing. Different ways of saying it, but it's really the same thing.
<coughs> Rabbi told me, go to Israel, pay for the ticket. You go to Yeshiva, you study there like eight hours a day for like six months. You don't have to work, you don't have to do nothing. I'm gonna hook you up. I'm gonna assure you good, you think about it. It's gonna be beautiful over there. There's no point for me to learn in nothing. Because I'm 36 years old, I'm already set on my ways. People say I need to grow up. Well, I am who I am. Now I just don't want to go anywhere because A, I want to make a commitment like that, B, I want my freedom. I want my freedoms. Because I know that no matter what he said, or this or that, need to marry Jewish, need to continue the Jewish family, all of that shit. Listen, I don't give a fuck. If that's gonna happen, good. If I'm gonna be happy with a Jewish woman, I mean, why not? But at the same time, I don't care about Jewish, not Jewish. All I care about is being with somebody who is good for me. Now, if my woman gonna go to Israel and we will be living there and she will like it there, I mean, fuck it, that's so cool, you know, but I should not stay with whoever I am right now because I'm just happy with whoever I am right now, that's why. So, I'm not really trying, you know, to get with, with some bitches, you know, that's not what I'm looking for right now. I just wanna get the fucking money so I can be free and I do what I want. And whatever you're gonna tell me that is Shiva, if I agree with it, I'm gonna go for it. If I don't, I don't. I'm happy to learn Hebrew and all of that, but there is no way you're gonna brainwash me at this point, motherfucker. Don't even try, it's not gonna work. Don't even waste your fucking time. Don't even waste your time. You don't like my agenda, you don't like what I'm about, get the fuck out of here. That's it. Mouth liquor, only mouth liquor. Enough said. My fucking racist parents don't like that I'm dating African woman. I don't care what they like, I don't care what they want. 
they're fucking Ashkenazi Jews who don't even follow their own shit anyway. So why should I listen to them? Even Rabbi told me that they're fucking sick people. Even Rabbi said that, and he feels sorry for them. See? Even Rabbi said that. And I like my Rebbe, he's a good man actually. He's actually a good fucking man. And I agree with him, like a lot of times when I work with him, I always say yes. And I don't say it because I want to kiss up to him. I actually agree with him. I don't agree with the fact that he's trying to get me a different woman, but... What does he know? He's been with one woman all his life anyway, so... He's actually... He has 10 kids. So... He knows what's up, he knows what's right, he knows what's wrong. So... Not like my parents, not like other people. He even said that all these people are fucking handicapped. They don't know any better. He even said it. And a lot of things which he says is actually the same thing as what my girlfriend's been telling me anyway. So what the fuck? And my woman even told me that, and I said, hey, do you want to go to the synagogue to Rabbi Peel to see how it is over there? And she said, hey, I'm open-minded enough, I'll go there. Even though she wears cross and he's a Christian, she is open-minded enough to go to the fucking synagogue. And I told her, you need to put the cr your cross off. And, I, and she said, that's fine, I don't care. I go to the synagogue, I'll see what it is. So, should I don't even fucking care? I'm thinking should have some Jewish roots, but if they're not gonna be able to prove, I'm sure she's gonna convert if she feels like that's a good way to live. So. That's what I'm saying. I'm not trying to get no fucking bitches, okay? That's not what I'm looking for in life. I just want to get the fucking money, get the job, so I can build my account up, so I can just do my own thing and live how I want and stay with the woman I like because we're just compatible, you know? We just have a relationship where it's like, it works out for me, you know? She costs me a good portion of money, okay, fair enough, but like, other people, bitches will cost me more because other women, you know, there's could be problems, it can be less money, but they're gonna be telling me, hey, there's something wrong with you, you shouldn't be like that, you shouldn't act like that. My woman doesn't then do that type of shit, you know? So that's why I stay with her. She doesn't tell me how to be, she doesn't tell me how to act, you know? I don't have problem with sex, you know, like, I have no problem with her. And she says the same thing, she has no problem with me either, so... I mean, yeah, she's older than me, but like, fuck it, I don't care. Even not that much older. And she even saying, hey, Emil, I have a friend, and she had a baby at 42, and I'm not even 41 yet, so what the fuck? All right, fuck it. Some people have kids at fucking 46, so what the fuck? I mean, she's very positive about it. And she tells me, Emil, you just need to grow up and mind your business and like get the money and work hard. And I'm like, all right. I want the same thing. 
That's why I'm so fucking unhappy they took me over this fucking assignment. I want to work with this fucking Mexican people around Spain and do what I was doing. And work two jobs. And I noticed that my boss, he didn't want me to take out of the assignment either. And fucking edges, he told me, don't go there anymore. And he told me, come next Monday. And I would rather come next Monday too, because I enjoy the job. It's a good pay, good people, bunch of Hispanics, you know, Mexicans. I work with them. I have no problem working with them. There is just one guy, he was a little weird, but even he, he was just, he was just playing it, you know. I know he was not for real anyway. And I still wouldn't work with him anyway. Even though we play like we about to get to the fight, but it was bullshit, we all seen, you know. I mean, I know he has no problem with me, so I don't give a damn. And there is another beautiful woman over there, Margarita. She's fucking gorgeous. And if I wouldn't have a girlfriend, I would go totally go out with her. You know? If I was a single man, I would totally try to get in with her. You know? I, I, I really would. I really would. But because I have somebody else, I'm not gonna do it. Otherwise, I would. She's fucking cute. There's another girl there, she's cute, Sonia. She doesn't speak English, she speaks Spanish, but I like her. I work with her, she's, she's a cool woman. I think she's married, but you know, she, she's a good person, you know, I work with her, she's a good person. So, and she's like the second cutest after Margarita, in my opinion. But there are a lot of good people over there. And that's the problem though. A lot of times when I work with good people, there's always bullshit happens. Because of this fucking bullshit, because there is an agenda behind it. Even my boss didn't want me to like let go, but we just had to be that way. They just had to like put, put the shit, you know, like it's bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. But I'm about to get to a different assignment. I'm going to a synagogue for five dollars, but I really hate doing it. I don't want to go there, you know, because it's bullshit. I mean, it's good to learn prayers and to learn how to be a Jew. But you know, it's like when you really like want to learn Hebrew and learn prayers, but they're like hearing you up and like trying to be like in tune with everybody else, just not working. That's why I don't like to go to the fucking synagogue. Because if I really want to pray and if I want to concentrate on the prayer, you know, and my speed is not to the par, I guess. You know, it's not a good idea to pray with a group. I better always just go by myself and say like Ashrei, say Amida, say Shema, but do it like by myself so I can go at my own pace, you know? Because I go with everybody else, I'm not gonna be able to finish and they're gonna like go to different things. And I'm like, fuck this shit. That's not good for me, you know? But there is agenda and that's a problem, you know? And the same problem with Jewish people, with Hispanic people, Mexicans, the same thing. Agenda. That's the problem. People trying to do something with me. That's the problem. You know? So, instead of like me progressing and doing what I like to do, they're trying to do something with me. That's like, fuck this shit. That's why I don't want to go to Israel. Because they want to put me to Yeshiva to brainwash me and tell me all this shit. You're a Jew, if you're not gonna get it with a Jewish woman, you're fucking subhuman. But fuck that shit. I don't do what I want. I don't give a fuck. You know? Swill, swill, swill. But then even in Israel, you know, here's the funny thing. Here's the funny thing. 35 minutes, I'm finally done. But here's the funny thing though. Even in Israel, all these Jews, like the Jewish police and all of these motherfuckers, they hate Palestinians. But if you're gonna look at like really religious Jews, they're actually going there and suffering and they're getting cured and getting beaten up by the police because they don't like what's going on and they're burning Israeli flags. 
and they are saying that again it is against the Torah, you know, to kill, to steal, that we are stealing somebody's land, and we are killing Palestinians, and that's not right. Even the religious Jews who go out there and who observe everything, you know, they say that. So what does that tell you? That maybe Palestinians are right. And they even say that Kodesh Baruch Hu, this is how we call God or Hashem in Hebrew, didn't allow the Jewish people to have their land before the Mashiach comes. And uh, they said that Zionism is not real, that uh, Theodor Gertzel is a piece of shit, which personally I agree with, he is a piece of shit. And that Judaism is a religion, it's not a nationalism, which of course I agree, and I like Nature Karta personally, I support them. I think they are, you know, they, 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 they know what's up, you know, they know what's up. I like Nature Karta, and personally, you know, I don't like the fact that Jewish people kill Palestinians. And as a matter of fact, when I was working my job, I used to work with Palestinian guy, and I actually like that guy. He was not acting funny, he was treating me like an individual, and he really understood me. I was talking about him, like about my work concern, he was telling me what he thinks, he was not talking too much, and he was talking to the girl, you know, the cute girl I like, which I'm not going to be with because I already have a girlfriend, but if I was a single man, I would totally go out with her anyway, because she is cute, but <laughs> anyways, that's besides the point. I like that fucking Palestinian guy. He seems like a nice man. So. He's not up to all this bullshit. <laughs> so. That's what I'm saying, you know. It's not about the Judaism. All of these people who fuck shit up for all the Jews are not even religious. And even religious Jews look at them like they're fucking handicapped anyway. So what the fuck? You know? But anyway, guys, there's this chocolate called the lion. And the funny thing that we have it in Sierra Leone too, I think. In Russia we don't have it, but in Sierra Leone we have it. I think. At some point I'm gonna go back to Sierra Leone. And I remember the Jewish guy, Charles. He lives in both Israel and Sierra Leone because he's, he has a business over there. There are Lebanese people over there too, so. Jews are everywhere, even in Sierra Leone. It's actually a good place to be. I enjoyed it over there. I hope I'm gonna go there again. It's good. You know, guys, I've been making this video for 40 minutes already. I have to go home now, take a shower, Hopefully life will get good, but life never ends good. But for now, I'm gonna get a second job. I get the money. So I don't have to go to synagogue as often. But another job to be there to less hours. Maybe I'm not gonna be working on Saturdays. So I will have like, if I get it, If I have two weekends a day, like Shabbat, which is Saturday and Sunday, it's all right. So I go to synagogue in there, there for free and not gonna make Rabbi upset. That should be all right. Hopefully I won't have to go to Israel. I mean, for six months, I mean, I'll go there for a month, but, or maybe a couple weeks, but six months in Yeshiva in Israel. 
don't think I'm ready for it. Even though Rabai wants me to go and do it, but nah. I just want to work. I don't want to get brainwashed. I don't want people to tell me nothing. You know, I want to see my girlfriend. I want to make money so she can come here and visit me so we can see each other, you know, like. That's what I want, but we'll see. Whatever the future holds. Now look at this view behind me, it's beautiful. I even show it to my woman and she's like, oh my God, this house is so beautiful, so rich. I really like this place. I wouldn't even want to live there, but I like this house. And that's true. Like around here, around China Beach, there are a lot of beautiful, expensive houses. So it's kind of true. All right, guys, it's 42 minutes. I hope you have enough patience to watch at least like 10% of this video. But thanks for watching whatever you can watch. Peace.